everyone welcome again well in this video we are going to discuss what is a listener and how you can create custom listener inside test ng so before starting with that let me tell you what is a listener is so listener are the classes which will wait for some specific event to get trigger so whenever test ng triggers that event the corresponding listener will be invoked and it is going to execute the implemented logic so in test ng there are different type of listener but we are going to discuss some of the common listener so we are going to see what is i suit listener then i invoked method listener and after that we are going to see i test listener so let me show you how you can create listener inside the test ng so again in my test case folder I will add one more class and let me call it as custom listener now as you can see that all the listener are interfaces so we need to implement this interface in order to use the listener functionality so we will see the first listener as I invoked method listener so this class will implement I invoked I invoked method listener and as we know that it's an interface so we need we need to override this two method to put our listener logic So there are two methods inside this listener that is after invocation and before invocation. So the functionality of the listener is like that whenever test ng encounter, met encounter a method, a test method, it is going to invoke before invocation listener just ex before executing that method. And as soon as our test method is done with the execution, it is going to invoke the after invocation listener. And as you can see that these two method will have I invoke method and I test result reference as object. So we can use these two reference to get more information about the test method which is going to invoke this to listener. So here I'll put a sysio and I will try to get the method name so get test method dot get name get method name so using this i invoked method reference i will call call the get test method and using get test method i will call the get method name which is going to return me the test method name along with that along with it I'm going to get the class name also so class name and for this I will use the reference to I test result interface so this will be dot get test class dot get 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 name so this is going to return me the name of that class in which the method has invoked this particular listener method and similarly I will do for the after invocation sorry before invocation method also so now our listener class this is our custom listener now we will create the actual test class which will contain the test method so let me call it a test listener one inside this 
let me extend the assert class inside this I will create one public method public void test case 1 and inside this I will just put a assert condition based on assert statement based on true condition now I need to use at the rate annotation test annotation with this method so now we have our custom listener class also an actual class which has the test method so how we are going to call the listener using this class so for that there is two ways the first way will be used at the rate listener annotation and specify the name of the class where we have implemented our listener so this will be custom listener dot class now as soon as I run this particular class that is test listener test listener 1 it is auto automatically called the custom listener and it is going to execute this before and after overridden invocation method so let me rename, rename this as test listener 1 so now using this annotation I am referring to our custom listener where we have two method that is going to wait for any specific event to occur so let me run this script so run as test engine so if you look at the console as you can see that the method name and class name we are getting from the our listener class so this is the listener which is giving us that information so let me add one more method and I'm going to call it as test case 2 now here I am going to put a sysio and this is going to print test case 1 similarly this is going to print test case 2 now let me rerun it again so as you can see that the listener so this is coming from before invocation let me add one more string over here now I am going to run this script once again so if you look at the console as you can see that before executing the at the rate test annotated method our before invocation method got executed and it has returned the information about the test method name and also which class it belongs similarly once this is done after invocation method got executed and it has returned the information about the method and class and similarly it happened for test case 2 also so this was the one way of calling the listener that is from the class itself there is one more way by which you can call your custom listener that is with the help of test and gxml so I'll just comment out this part and in my project I will create one more test and gxml and let me call it as test ng listener hyphen listener
now i'm i'm going to do certain customization here i will remove this test from here error equal to false so now here i need to specify the class tag which will contain the list of classes which will get executed as a part of this test so as we know that we need to give the class name along with the package inside the xml now in the test ng when you are executing your script using the test ng here you need to specify the listener if i don't specify the listener our class will not be able to extend the functionality of the listener so let me show you if just i will run this xml normally so now as you can see that we are not getting anything related to the listener because we didn't specify the listener information over here so for that we need to use listener tag and inside this tag we need to specify the listener class name just like we did for our test class so class name will be again along with the package dot class name dot class name now if I run this XML, now in this case our test class will able to extend the listener functionality. So as you can see that. Now again this is coming from the uh, our listener class. So but as you can see that if I use before and after annotate method also, same thing can happen as the listener is working with us. Means if I use before and after annotate method they will also perform the same functionality just we are having here for the after before invocation and after invocation so what is the difference here the difference will come into the picture when you are using multiple class inside your XML for example I'll create one more class test listener two. now this is going to extend the set class now I will move this method test case 2 from test listener class 1 to test test listener class 2 So now what will happen over here if this class contain if this test listener one class contain before and after annotated method that will be applicable for only this particular test method. It will not be applicable for this test method. However, the listener will be applicable for both the class. All I need to do is to specify the second class inside our test ng XML. So the, now this listener will be applicable for both the class. So here the difference will come when you are comparing with after and before method annotation because those methods will be applicable only to the method which belong to their class not with the not across the class. But here this listener will applicable to all the classes which you are specifying over here. Okay. So let me run this XML once again. Okay, test listener. Now let me rerun it again. So as you can see that for the test case one we got the information bef before invocation what is the method name what is the class name after invocation what is the method name what is the class name and now similar 
thing happen for the test case 2 method which was present in the different class. So as you can see that with the help of signal, a single listener you can use that you can extend that functionality to the multiple class. So let me tell you once more that what is the usability of this I invoked method listener. Well whatever the logic you have used inside the after invocation method that will come when the test at the rate test annotated method finish, finishes its execution. And whatever the code logic you have put inside the before method this will this logic will get execute or this code will get execute before the before starting the execution of at the rate test annotated method okay and there are two ways to use the listener either you can specify the listener like this and the other way will be to use the xml with the listener tag and whenever you want to create your custom listener you have to implement the corresponding listener and you need to follow the overriding rule for the method which is present inside the interface that listener interface so in the upcoming video we are going to discuss how you can use i suite listener and i test listener so that's all for this video and thanks for watching